Hi everyone, welcome back to another island tour. Today we get to do a dream tour of the island called Magnolia. This island's theme is elegant core, but I do think that it is really unique compared to a lot of other elegant islands, and I'm really excited to get to show you guys that today. But really quickly, I do want to show you her designs. Um, she made a few outfits that are really cute. Here they are. The colors are adorable, and I love the stars on them. If you guys are interested, I'll have her creator ID down in the description, as well as her Instagram and her dream code. Feel free to check her out. She's amazing. With that being said, I am going to head over. I saw some presents by the town hall, so we're going to check those out. Alright guys, I am back. The presents were an outfit to match the island's theme, so I am a princess now. I do want to check her map real quick. She has two houses, and her villagers are Meringue, Maple, Diana, Fauna, Marshall, Flora, Raymond, Bob, Chrissy, and Lucky. She has a lot of really good villagers. She has a lot of the popular boys. Um, her map is very intricate and organized. I love this. It's really cool. I like the terraforming that she did. Okay, so now that we've seen that, her airport is directly down here, which is really cool. So we're going to come over here and take a look at her flag. That is a really pretty flag. An M for Magnolia, the flower. That's really pretty. She does have a really grand entrance. I know it's really hard for people with having a town hall really close to their airport. It's so hard to figure out what to do. She did a really good job at figuring it out. I love this. It fits her theme really well, but it's subtle at the same time. You know, it's such a little walkway up here and she managed to cram so many beautiful little sights in between that. So I think I am going to head left. Let's go on to the beach. This is really cute. Little showers for the beach. Little porta potty. I don't think I've seen a porta potty on anyone's <laughs> island, but it is very cute in this setting. A surf shop. I love this idea. It's really nice now that diving has come out. It looks really good with the bikes, just all the rentals over here. That's really cool. <gasps> this little fish is so cute. I love these candles. These are the mom's candles. They're so pretty. So it looks like this is a little beach eating area. It's really cool. I can't get back here. It's really tight. Okay. So a little sitting area. I love this. The paintings are beautiful. These hyacinth lamps. Wow. So coming up here, this is so cute, a little library. I love this. This is actually really unique. It's like a coffee shop with books. That's really cool. This is so cute. A little shopping district. The Able Sisters. This is where they make the clothes. through here. Oh, this is so cute. These stacked books are adorable. If I can sit. My, <laughs> my umbrella just glitching through the snack machine. It's fine. <laughs> this is really cool. It does feel very busy and lived in. I like that a lot with people shopping districts. They have trash and it actually looks really good. A flower shop. That is so cute. Heading on to the beach again. Hi, Maple. Oh, wow. She has a lot of the statues that you get from Gulliver on here. 
very cool i love the um flowers on the beach that looks so good it just it's such a good filler if you don't know what to put on the beach oh a little carnival area you can celebrate your birthday party here that is so cute We have a little garden area behind the nook's cranny. Very elegant. I love all of the pink flowers. They look so good together. Wow. So going back over here, let's go back this walkway. Here she is, in this spooky little forest area. Hello. That's very cute. So this is supposed to be very spooky. It's like witchcraft. Very cool. I like this a lot. Let's come over to the beach. little place you can drink your tea and listen to music beautiful scenery a little panda bear just a little soothing zen area i love these lamps these are so pretty that's really cool I am just so bad at navigating <laughs> my way around islands, but this is beautiful. This little entrance area. So it looks like it comes from this beautiful little garden area that we looked at earlier. I love this. It's so unique to split the stairs like this. That is really cool. Oh, and this flooring, the pathing looks amazing. Wow. This is beautiful. I can't believe this. Wow. This is so cool. And the fossils. That's amazing. This is so pretty. That is such a grand entrance to the museum. Wow. Very cool. Oh, and this is cool. You can overlook the little forest. Wow. I like what she does here, putting a border around the dirt and adding some flowers. It just creates so much depth on an island so effortlessly. mad respect for people that can save their fossils so that they can put them out on their island. I'm so impatient. I don't think I could ever do that. But it looks really good around the museum area. All of the walks to and from places are so pretty too. They're just such scenic little adventures from one place to the next. This is beautiful. That view is amazing. Wow. It's so cool. It's just so detailed. Wow. This is so grand. Let's check out inside this building. Okay, so I just checked and I do think that her house is empty. So we're just going to admire it from the outside. It's very pretty. I know that there's another house on this side and I'm not sure if this one's done or not either. So I'm going to run in and check really quick. Excuse me, Diana. Okay, 
Okay, wow, this one is done. This is beautiful. This is so pretty. I love the wallpaper. That's so pretty. I love when people use the box sofas to make an actual sofa for in the house. I think that looks really good. It's very simple but filling as well. It still looks full and good. Let's head to the left side of the house. So it is her kitchen. This kitchen is really cute. It's really simple. I don't think that I can get to the other side, which sucks. That's such a bummer. That's okay though. It's very cute. It's just so simple. This wallpaper is adorable. I love the butterfly wallpaper. That looks so good. I love the little blue and green accents over there with the espresso maker and the mixer. That's really cute. Okay, let's head to the back of the house. Oh wow, this is a whole different feeling in this room. It's still really cool. I love the Celeste items. Very cool. I don't think I've seen this light in any other color except for green. At least on my island, all I have is the green one. But that's really cool. She made use of the items and it looks good. Okay, let's head over to the right side of the house. Oh, this looks so cozy and relaxing. Wow. It's very symmetrical too, it looks really good. I like the whole zen look that it has with the rotten items. There's a TV, so you can sit in your nice little bath and watch some TV, of course. That looks really good. Wow. Alright, so let's check out the upstairs. We have another Celeste room. The astrology items look amazing, yet again. I just feel like if you're going to put the astrology items in a room, you have to do it with this wallpaper and flooring, you know? They just go together so well. And this moon rock is so cute. This is where she goes and dreams of other islands. <laughs> and I love these star fragments. The colors are so cute. That looks really good. Now let's check out the basement. I'm hoping it's not creepy. Okay, it's not what I expected. Honestly, I prefer this over creepy. This wallpaper and flooring looks amazing though, am I right? That's funny. Alright, I do think that that is everything in the house, so we can go and I'll see you guys outside. Let's head down out of this beautiful palace area. I, w I think that this is a palace. It could be a mansion. Either way, it's beautiful. But let's head to the right side of the island. This is so pretty. I love the peach trees so much. Oh, this is so cute. These shell fountains look amazing. More pink flowers, that looks so good. So what's up here? Oh, this is so cute. It's a little viewing area. I'm sorry, I just spun my umbrella at you so rudely. I love the custom design with the swan up there, that looks so good. This is really pretty. The terraforming's amazing. 
just a little viewing area of her island. That's really cool. I think over here is back to her town hall. Uh, yeah, okay. This is an area back to her town hall, but there is a couple little areas. So pretty. I love this. With these statues right here, that's so pretty. Oh, little popsicles. Just a little popsicle date. Wow. So pretty. And then here's her entrance. So we are going to run back this way. <laughs> this is so cute. A chess area. These things are so expensive. I can't believe she has four of them. <laughs> the white flowers are beautiful. So crossing this bridge, we have this beautiful view. Hi, Maple. <laughs> but look at this ship. This is so gorgeous. Let me get out of the way. Wow. Just look at this. That is amazing. The detail, like it's perfect. Honestly, it looks so realistic. That's so cool. Heading over here, there's another swan that's cute. Oh, and the horse pulling the garden wagon. That is so cute. This view is amazing again. I feel like I'm on vacation. Wow. This is so pretty. Just a little area. It's a little mix of European. Like I feel like I'm in Greece right now and that's so cool. Wow. Let's check out her beach. <gasps> that is so cute. So her beach is her campsite. Beach campsites are always so pretty. I have really small beaches on my island, which absolutely sucks because all I want to do is put my campsite on the beach and I do not have room. <laughs> I love all the little games. Like they have stuff to do while they're here visiting. That's so cute. You can come over here and play some sports. Very cool. There's another beautiful swan and a peacock. Oh, this is so cool. The custom design underneath it. That is so cool. That's really unique. <laughs> a little area to just watch TV on the beach. It's no big deal. Some flowers and star fragments. That's beautiful. Wow. Oh, the little crystals from wedding season. That's adorable. Oh, wow. A little beach bar. I like the pink and yellow together. Actually, that looks really good. Very spring. Oh, this is cool. Little bamboo partitions, I think they are. They're such good blockers. Just a little romantic area. The brown shell items are actually really pretty. Wow. Oh, cool. And more Celeste items. This is so cool. It's cool that she found something to do with all of these. She found somewhere to put them. Okay, coming back here behind her little Greek area, we have a house. I have no idea whose house this is. Where are we? Bob. Okay, this is Bob's house. Very cute. I love the little wreath, the windflower wreath. And he, she has the windflowers around his house. 
Little tiny details that add so much. And then Raymond's over here. The pretty roses on the wreath. Okay, I do see something that I missed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is so cute. A laundromat. <gasps> the tide bags. That is so creative. This is so cute. And using custom designs on panels for more washers to make it feel like there's more is so cute. This is so good. That is really creative. I like that so much. Okay, coming back over here. I think we are entering the residential area. I am not sure whose this house is. I do think it's Fauna's. No. <laughs> I'm wrong. It's Maple's. Okay. Maple's house. Of course, I have Maple. Maple's house. That's so cute. All of them have cute little wreaths on their doors. This is Chrissy's. Yes. Chrissy's house. This is a very pretty neighborhood. I'm honestly so jealous. Okay, over here, I'm pretty certain that this one's Fauna's. Yes, okay. Here's Fauna's, the beautiful mum wreath. Over here, we have Diana's. Her house is really pretty. Very cool. Okay. And then we have Meringue. Pretty. I love the water that's in front of all of the houses. It's very cute. It fills up the space behind the house in front of it so that you aren't running behind a house and you can't see, but there's still something pretty. You know what I'm saying? Whose house is this? I literally have no idea. Lucky! Okay, Lucky. He's spooky. That's very cute. I like Lucky. Lucky's one of the cute lazy boys. Okay, here's Marshall's house. Marshall doesn't get a wreath. <laughs> and then lastly, we have Flora's. Flora and Marshall don't get wreaths, but it's okay. They get the back of the neighborhood, all the privacy in the world, you know? So that's very cool. There's something over here that I completely missed and I have no idea how to get there. <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay, so it's along the neighborhood. I'll see you guys when I get out of the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm officially out of the neighborhood, coming back past the laundromat. <laughs> Hello, again, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Okay, here we are. I completely missed this. This is gorgeous. I love the butterfly models. That looks so good. Okay, <laughs> Raymond, I need you to move. Very cool. Okay, so she did give me a vaulting pool. So that I can get to Red's Island. This is so cool. All of his statues he sells. Letting him know you're his number one customer. I love these winter items with the Nova Lights. Especially the blue Nova Lights. That looks really good. And Red's Beach is a bunch of pirate items. Which looks really good. I don't have any of the pirate items, honestly. I'm so lazy. I definitely should get them. They're cool. <laughs> That'll definitely be the next project I work on. So I do think that that is everything on the island. I really hope that I didn't miss anything, but this island was absolutely amazing. 
please stick around and hear the written interview with the island's creator. She's so sweet and talented. Um, Definitely check her out on her Instagram. I will have that link in the description. But with that being said, let's jump right into the interview. All right, guys, this is the interview portion of the video. I sent some questions over to the island's creator, Coraline, and these were her responses. She said, hi, hmm, what can I say about myself? I love Animal Crossing. It's been quite a distraction throughout these past couple of months with everything that has gone on. I am a born and raised native from Las Vegas. Magnolia's theme is a simple, elegant island. I want to say it's elegant core, maybe. Yes, there's an island that inspired me. At Nad Nad from Heaven's Island played a major role in where both of the houses sit. If you haven't visited, it's definitely an island to visit. Magnolia is a restart island. I first started with my other island, which was named Cosmic Love. But altogether, the hours run at 980 hours that I've played since April. My favorite spot would be the SS Magnolia. It definitely ties into the islands very well and is a perfect spot to take vintage-like photos. I have not made any custom designs that I have used for simple panels. These are created by other amazing players. Patience definitely plays a role in designing your island. It cannot be rushed. This is a slow process, but it'll definitely be worth it once you feel you've completed your island or are satisfied with it. Thank you for having me and touring my island. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you liked the island, go show Coraline some love. Her Instagram will be in the description. And if you guys liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and maybe subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.